Hello, how are you? My name is Dr. Burgundy Collins and I am a board certified licensed chiropractor in the state of Virginia. I practice in Northern Virginia and I have a practice in Springfield, Virginia, Collins Chiropractic. And today I wanted to talk to you about what is chiropractic. I see a lot of patients and a lot of them before they come in, and even when they are in the office, they have a lot of apprehension and a lot of questions about exactly what chiropractic is. Now, I actually recorded a video about this five years ago. It is super outdated. Well, the information is not outdated, but I look outdated, so I thought I'd do it over. I'm going to get to this update the video uh, to explain to you in a very nice way, a fun way, a light, easy way to understand what chiropractic is and to let you know how amazing it is for your body. So first thing, what is chiropractic? So chiropractic is a form of healthcare. It is a healing art and science that has been around for over a hundred years. Now chiropractic is designed to number one, remove nerve interference. Secondly, it is designed to improve the structure and function of your body. So let's get right into it. Let's first talk about the misconceptions that people may have about being a chiropractor or misconceptions of what going to the chiropractor is like. So first of all, a lot of people think when you go to the chiropractor or going to the chiropractor means that the chiropractor or the doctor, and chiropractors are doctors, is that we're just gonna start cracking your neck and cracking your back like we're Bruce Lee or Jet Li and making all these just crunches and cracks in your neck and back. Actually, that sounds like fun, but no, we do not do um, any crazy moves like that. Now, when you do get your chiropractic adjustment, you may hear some noises, you may hear some crunches and cracks, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But chiropractors are trained. We go to undergrad schools, so we, we get an undergraduate degree, and then we go to a doctorate program, and doctorate programs take almost four years. It took me about four years to finish my doctorate. So it's a total of at least eight years of study for chiropractors to be able to work on your body. And when we're in school, we learn to move the bones in specific directions. And in fact, we only move the bones in a direction in which they would normally go. So we aren't moving the bone in any direction that it would not normally go. So you can go ahead and forget about all the Bruce Lee and Jet Li thoughts that you have. We aren't just cracking and crunching random stuff. No, we're moving these bones in specific directions. Now, why are we moving the bones anyway? Um, as I mentioned, one of the reasons for chiropractic or one of the purposes for chiropractic is to remove nerve interference. So you're probably thinking like, what is nerve interference? Is that, is that like when somebody's getting on my nerves and the doctor's going to get rid of that person that's getting on my nerves, the person's interfering on my nerves. <laughs> Not quite, although that does sound like a pretty good job to have. Um, no, nerve interference re refers to the nerves in your back. And actually, I'm just gonna show you this beautiful model of our spine. Isn't it so pretty? Gorgeous, okay? And this is inside of every single one of us. It's amazing. So let me just break down a little bit of anatomy for you in case you don't know too much about anatomy. And if you do, it doesn't even matter. Just keep on watching, okay? So you can just imagine this is the skull or the base of the skull and our brain is sitting right here, okay? Our brain and the base of our skull. Our brain actually continues as nervous tissue down our back and all the way down to where you sit, okay? In the back, we have alternating levels of bone, disc, bone, disc, bone, going all the way down. And the nerve tissue that's going down your back, which is also called the spinal cord, is fully encased and protected by these beautiful, flexible bones in our back and neck. Now, every area where two bones come together that is called a joint, okay? And where there is a joint where two bones are coming together, we have a disc and we have a nerve. Now the spinal cord continues down our back but it branches off to every section of our body with little nerves or where they start off pretty big and then they become little nerves that go to every area of your body. Why do we have nerves going to different parts of our body? Well, it's so our brain can communicate with the rest of our body. So as I'm moving my arms and as I'm talking to you, moving my neck and gesturing and things like that, my brain is communicating with my body through the nerves in my back so I can move my arms and my legs and my neck while I communicate with you. 
Now, chiropractors are really focused on improving the function of the nerves or the nerve's ability to communicate with the rest of your body or primarily your brain's ability to communicate with your body. So when there's any kind of interference and interference can be due to bones coming closer together due to osteoarthritis or some kind of compression issue or a disc issue or inflammation. Um, when that happens, we know that the body can't communicate as properly as it could or should. So our goal is to take away that interference, to remove anything that's prohibiting that nerve to have all the space that it needs so it can go where it needs to go and it can communicate the way that it needs to communicate. It is actually a marvelous thing. Our bodies are just amazing works of art and just miracles in motion. Our bodies are just fantastic. So. As a chiropractor, my goal, I just want to really want to make sure that your brain can communicate with your body as effectively as possible and so your body can function as effectively as possible and as wonderfully and as optimally as it is designed to do. But that isn't usually a reason why people come to a chiropractor. People usually come to chiropractors because they are in pain or because their body is stiff or their muscles have not sent them or if they were in some kind of accident or some kind of trauma. And chiropractic is fantastic for improving your body's structure and thus the body's function. So when your body feels stiff, okay, or your back feels stiff or your neck feels stiff, that basically means that these joints or these bones are not moving as nicely as they can. Now, when you come into my office, because I know you're going to come to my office to check me out and let me work on you. When you come into my office, I'm not really going to talk too much about nerve interference at all unless you have some kind of neurological deficit. But I am going to be talking and focusing on and checking out the structure of your neck and your back, if that's why you come into the office. I'm going to be pushing on the bones. I want to see how nicely they move. I'm going to be feeling the muscles because in your body, these bones are covered by beautiful, strong muscles, okay? So I'm going to be touching these muscles in your back. I'm going to be checking several things out. I'm going to make sure that the bones are moving when I push on them. I'm going to also make sure they're in a proper position. Now, in your body, these bones should be directly above each other. So just go ahead and touch the back of your neck right now. Touch the back of your neck, okay? You feel those little bumps or prominences? I like to call them dinosaur humps, especially for the little kids. Little dinosaur humps in your back. They're just a posterior portion of the bones, okay? And when I touch your back and neck, I should feel these bones, the part, those parts of the bones, directly above each other, okay? And oftentimes, they are not above each other. They're rotated to the left. They're rotated to the right. And just by a little bit, not like inches, not by yards, but just a little bit. And when they move to the left and to the right and don't come back to center, that means your body cannot function as a complete group, that whole section. They're not working together as a team, which means your body's going to be stiff. You're not going to be able to move as nicely and as freely as you would like to, okay? And I'm also going to be checking on the muscles, making sure those muscles are nice and healthy. No knots, no nasty little inflammation pockets or anything like that. I'm going to really um, check all of that out. So those are just some of the things that chiropractors primarily focus on when you come into a chiropractic office. We want to remove nerve interference, which you probably won't talk about much in my office, but I'm going to be working on that. And but also trying to improve the structure and function of your body. Now, if I can improve the structure of your back in chiropractic, if we can improve the structure of your back and neck, we can improve the function of your body basically just about in totality. Now, um, chiropractors can also work on other joints, not just the joints in your neck and back. As a chiropractor, I could work on your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, your hips, your feet, ankles, knees. You'd be surprised how often I touch feet in my office. At least every day, at least every day. And it's not really because of your feet, it's because like your people, their ankles are jacked up. And also hips, I work on a lot of hips. You'd be surprised how many people have pain in their hips. But you think about it, we walk all day, we sit all day, so hips do need a lot of attention. They do need some TLC. So I hope this video was very informative for you to explain what chiropractors do. I will like to add that the chiropractic adjustment does not hurt, it feels fantastic. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube and other places where you just hear these loud noises, you hear people yelling out. I won't be terrified. But I would tell you that chiropractic treatment usually 
most of the time, 99.9% of the time, it's not like some of those videos you see, okay? It doesn't hurt, it feels fantastic. In fact, after the chiropractic adjustment, most people feel really loose and free and energetic and they can move better. And oftentimes, the results are instantaneous. Uh, sometimes it's not because it does take a while for it to work because your body has been a certain way for a certain amount of time and does take some work and effort to get it better. But the chiropractic adjustment feels fantastic. You usually feel great right after. You may hear a crunch or crack. It's not because these bones are being slammed on each other, not at all. It's because the joint is opening and closing back. It's a little, it's not gas, it's not air, it's just it's a release to the joint capsule. And I can explain that to you more when you're in the office. So if you're interested in getting chiropractic adjustment, and in fact, if you're just interested in just feeling better and having a better functionality of your body, having better, just feeling better overall, I'll click the link below. If you're looking on Instagram, you see this video, link in bio. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, <laughs> link below. If you're on my website, just go ahead to the next page and schedule an appointment. I would love to see you. I would love to provide your chiropractic treatment. If you have never had adjustment, I would love to be your first. I love giving people their first chiropractic adjustment. It's amazing. I love it. So come on in. Uh, my website is collinschiropractic.co. You can schedule your appointments there. You can also give my office a call and speak to me personally if you would like to. And let's just get you feeling better, get you feeling right, get you feeling like yourself 100%. So thank you for checking out this video. I'm actually going to start updating all my videos on my YouTube channel. They are super old. Super old. So I'm going to update all of them for you. Okay? Well, stay well, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye.